Yeah, I, I think when we're talking about merging existing families and relationships with new families and relationships, um, I think there's a few things that um, need to be considered and, and really thought through. And, um, and certainly one of those is, is honoring each person's current system, right? Because living and being is, is complicated and difficult. So just really understanding and giving each other space to coexist and not force or rush a merger in, in any way, right? Uh, try to make it as natural as possible. Um, and, you know, you go back to, you know, the, the grace that God shares with all of us each day, certainly using that um, to, to be patient with one another, to be understanding of one another, right? Uh, we, all, we all suffer from something, right? So we have to always remember that or struggle with things, if you want to use a different word. So <clears throat> just being mindful that your, your perspective and your, your, ex your life experience is different than the other person's. What, what, what upsets you or what gives you anxiety is not the same thing that, that may give someone else anxiety. So, uh, you know, just kind of respecting that everyone has their own frame of reference, everyone has their own priorities, certainly, right? Um, and everyone has their own schedule and, and things that, that are really important to them. And we have to make space for that. And it, and it takes patience and understanding. And then in time, I think you, you want to try to integrate and try to have shared priorities and, and shared schedules. So I, I would say that's one thing. You don't want to kind of force integration in any, in any relationship. Yeah, I, I think that's, we were really careful with that. I mean, it's never been just you and I. Like, there's always been your, your children. But I think even from the time we met and... and our relationship has it as it's grown and stuff. You were very careful as to when I entered into their life and how I entered into their life and how much time I spent and how we kind of let that grow slowly over time. And you know, when the kids do say something to me or who are you going to be or what or anything like that, I, I always just say I'm just another person in your life to love you. You know, I just want them to know that they are loved and that I love them. Um, you know, so I think we're just very careful and mindful of how they feel, too, because it is, it's a definite life change for them as well. Mm -hmm.